Yorkshire is England's largest county. Thus, it stands to reason that it would also have England's largest folly. Wayne House Tower, built between 1871 and 1875, is actually the largest folly in the world. It was originally commissioned as a chimney, but it never really achieved this purpose. So today it stands as a design feature. A rather large design feature, mind you, as it stands at a staggering 253 feet tall. For the record, that's taller than the Arc de Triomphe, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, or about 13 giraffes stood on top of one another. It's situated in Halifax, Calderdale, West Yorkshire. Halifax gets its name from the old English word Halgifiax, translating to area of coarse grass in the nook of land, and was recorded in 1091 as Halifax with a Y instead of an I. Calderdale is a borough that gets its name from the river Calder, which in turn is thought to have meant hard or violent water, and Dale, a word for valley. Throughout the 19th century, Halifax grew exponentially, with the population increasing from 9,000 in 1800 to 25,000 by the middle of the century. Steam-powered textile factories, mills, open sewers, slum-like housing and smoke from the industries meant that Halifax was not the picturesque place it is today. It was this smoke, and indeed this industrial growth, that meant Wayne House Tower had to be built where it is, and built so tall. Wayne House is the name of the man who commissioned it, John Edward Wayne House. Born in 1817, he inherited his uncle Robert Wayne House's factory, used for making dyes in 1856. Known as the Washer Lane Dye Works, for they were situated on Washer Lane, they produced an awful amount of smoke in an already smoke-filled town. Industrial smoke was such an issue that in 1870, the Smoke Abatement Act was passed dictating that smoke was to be taken out of the valley. As such, Wayne House commissioned it to be built out of the valley and on the hill, which is why it's located here. He built it here and he built it to be so big so it would take smoke out of the valley and put it into the sky. It took a whopping 9,000 tonnes of material to create this fantastic folly. And it cost around £15,000, which in today's money is about £939,000. It never achieved the function as a chimney, however, as the dye works were sold off in 1874. Furthermore, the original architect, Isaac Booth, also left the project in 1873, and hence building was finished by another architect and another owner. John Wainhouse died in 1883. During the Second World War, Wayne House Tower was an observation post, and after the Local Government Act of 1974, it became the property of Calderdale Council. It's also known as the Tower of Spite. Whilst this sounds straight out of a Tolkien novel, it actually alludes to a feud between Wayne House and his neighbour, Sir Henry Edwards. Owner of the nearby canal mills, Edwards and Wayne House first started bickering over the smoke nuisance from the dye works. Edwards also boasted that no one could see inside his grounds of his mansion, Pie Nest. This is potentially why Wayne House Tower was also built so tall, and also has an observation post on top. Now I love follies, I think they are some of Britain's most fascinating architecture. So, to be able to go up to what is a hidden gem, although not very well hidden judging by the size of it, but one of Yorkshire's hidden gems, I think it's not only great for me, but also great for everyone who want to visit Yorkshire and celebrate some of its fantastic architectural history. Thanks to Visit Calderdale, I was able to go up over 350 steps into the sky to see the fantastic views and all walks of life that Halifax and Yorkshire has to offer. And I think that's really poignant because not only does it show that people are wanting to go up there and that there's so much to see and do here in Yorkshire, but also that its heritage is being cared for, made accessible to the public 
and it's been preserved for generations to come.